Hi, it's Lisa from Beyond Authentic, and today I've got Witch Casket's May Box. If you want to see me unbox it, stay tuned. <laughs> Okay, so as always, this comes in a biodegradable packing uh, bag thing. It's £36 in America, £34 in Europe, and £29 here in the UK, I believe. So then, let's go through. As always, it's got this little lock and key thing on the front, which I like. And just in case you want to contact them on any of their socials or get your own box, there are the details there. Look, witchcasket.co.uk. Now, um, we did get an email about what was in this. And I don't remember what it was. So I know there is a special item. But I don't remember what that is either. So just to say, it's currently half past 10 at night here in the UK. I'm about to go to bed. This turned up today. I've had a busy old day. And this is the first chance that I've actually got to film this. So apologies if my poor fibro brain is a bit all over the place. But we're going to do our best. Let's get into it. I'm going to swap cameras and let's see what the box has in store today. Threshold magic, it says on front. Now, we always get one of these pamphlets that tell us what's in the box. So this says threshold magic and it gives us a few details. Let me just put my glasses back on. It says, thank you so much for subscribing to our May Witch Casket. This casket is all about threshold magic and we hope it can its contents help you to protect your home and welcome only positive energies and then it says as always read through the pamphlet so you can familiarize yourself with the items um and it says about tagging the witch casket team on social media i always do that and i must say they always do comment on my video so thank you ever so much for uh, to deb ella and the team for that now if you don't know this is a mother and daughter team that started witch box uh, witch casket a long time ago but now there's a whole massive team and they've got a warehouse and everything else. So there are details in here about what you can expect, but I always look at that at the end. So I'm just going to pop that to one side. So then we always get an art print. I like that. Look, it's a spooky house with a lovely pussycat. And what else have we got? Moths, all sorts on there. That's really cool. I like the fact it's really nice and brightly colored for, for green. I think that's really cool. And then on the back, as always, it says... It's a monthly manifestation card. What are my goals this month? What practical steps can I take to reach most of these goals? And what magical steps can I reach these goals? Or can I take to reach these goals? So that's really lovely. I am going to start using this. Okay, so for the members, I am going to put this in the members only space because I am going to start using these uh, manifestation cards. Okay, after I've done all the unboxing and everything. I will put in there what my goal is for the month. So, um, yeah, join me in that if you want on the members only chat. I'll be doing that on Sunday coming up. Then we've got our, oh, it's a door wash ritual kit. Contains everything you need to prevent negativity from entering your home. We always do get a spell kit each month. Historically, I don't tend to do these um, just because I, I like creating my own spells and things like that. But again... I have been known to do one or two. So we'll see what it's like. So then let's have a look. And we should have everything we need should be in this little pouch. Oh, we've got one of these tea bags. So these are uh, reusable or biodegradable tea bags. I've got loads of these as well for something I'm working on. It says number one. So that'll be our first herb. Number two. Oh, we've got three packs of herbs today. And it says here, we've got red clover, hyssop and lavender with an empty pouch and it uh, gives us the details there of how to do it yep a good floor wash and again we've got our on the back of the print there's a picture of a door so you can use these in your book of shadows if you want that way up to write about you know entry magic and doorstep magic and all of that threshold magic or you could just paste that directly in to your book of shadows so that's always a good thing to do but yeah it looks like we've got everything there um, I'm not going to open these because it doesn't feel like they're in little bags. So I don't want them to go everywhere. I've got enough herbs and detritus all over the desk as it is. Um, so I'm going to pop that in there. That's not that. That's the art print. There we go. That's the little thing that tells us what's in it. So, yeah, that's good. I do use door washes now and then. I tend to just air on the bases and do a lot of salt wash on my doors but and on the, the doorstep and things. Right. So we've got a nice 
pouch with a, a jingle jangle. Again, one thing I love about Witch Casket is all of their design work. Everything is carried over. All of the designs are carried over. So you can see here, we've got the similar sort of green to the green on the stickers, to the green on the prints. Everything is all thought out, which is absolutely amazing. And all of this costs extra money. It could have just been a black pouch, right? But it costs more money to have this printed or whatever they do with this, however this is made. It always costs extra. And I, I, I appreciate that from, uh, from Witch Casket. Oh, look. Oh, that is very cool. Have we lost a bell? Yes, we have. That's not a problem. I've got some pliers and things that can easily be reattached. Um, just need a little, I wonder if the little jump ring is in there. Yes, it is. Yeah, so that's not a problem at all. Where is it? I thought it was. Maybe it's not. No, missing a jump ring. Oh, no, there it was. Look, bell into the bottom. While I'm looking in the bottom for that jump ring, where is it? There it is. These packing peanuts are actually made out of starch, so they do dissolve quite quite funly, actually. Um, if you pop them into some water, they do dissolve with a little fizzy sound. It's quite cool. Um, but yeah, look, that's no problem. The little bell and the jump ring, it's just come off. It just needs tightening onto there, and then that will just get tightened onto here. I must say, once again, look at this for aesthetic absolutely 100 percent oopsie okay yeah maybe I will, i've lost the jump ring again now but i will absolutely hang that on the back of my door i do have some that um or which bells rather i should say that my friend holland who runs blue chalice over on etsy has actually made for me they've made me some very sort of snazzy witch bells and that which i have on my front door um but i'm always up for more especially more jingly jangly things so that's very cool i will pop that in there with the oh losing everything now i'll pop the bell in there and I'll find the jump ring in a minute. So this is a protective threshold charm. The pentacle has long been used by witches as a symbol of protection, absolutely. And the ringing of bells has traditionally been used to clear away stagnant and unwanted energy. If you've ever joined me on one of my uh, tarot readings, my lives every Tuesday and Sunday evening, 7 p.m. UK time, you'll see I always ring the bell for that same, it's that same reason to clear the energy. Says this magical protective charm was created for you to hang by or on your door, ensuring whoever is paying you a visit doesn't bring negative energy with them. That's really cool. I do like that, and that will absolutely get used. And pop that on that side as well. I don't know where to begin, where to carry on. Look, so we've got a our enamel pin. We always get an enamel pin. I like that. Look, if I hold that like that, can you see what it says? It says protected by magic. I love that and it's green and I wear a lot of black. So <laughs> just just a surprise. Oh, look, Lisa wears a lot of black. I do I wear a lot of black and a lot of purple, but a lot, lot of black. And I think that will stand out really nicely on something that's black. That's really cool. So we always get an enamel pin from uh, our witch casket boxes. Also, we always get a scroll. Now then, as I undo this sticker, I'm going to put it the sticker just here on my desk where I've got a collection of them growing. Um, what I will say about the scrolls is I'm not going to show you everything that it says on the scroll. Now, there is a reason for that. I'm not being mean. It's because Deb and Ella put a lot of work into these boxes for their subscribers. And I firmly believe there should be an energy exchange um, between witches and the people that we, we work with or work for. And the reason I don't include the whole details of the scrolls because I've paid for this. So that is my energy exchange with Devonella. And you are watching this, your energy exchange is with me, but your energy exchange doesn't go directly to Debonella. And I always feel it's a little bit uncomfortable with that. So anyway, I'll give you an idea of what it says. It says threshold and boundary magic. Our home is our safe place and it's natural to want to keep it protected uh, and ensure no negative energy can pass your boundaries and thresholds. With that in mind, here are some simple ways to protect your space. And then it goes on to give us a few of those. So that's really cool. Um, so, yes, I will have a look at that in greater detail after I filmed this. Um, and then we've got lots, lots of little boxes. I'm going to go for this bag first because, again, it's a it's an exclusive witch casket bag in the green with the pentagram on. I do love this. It's got oak leaves there as well, which are very, very, very special to me. And in my personal uh, 
path. Oh, there's four four little pebbles. Have they got anything on? Oh, they have. Oh, so I've got a pentacle on that one, a pentacle on that one, pentacle on that one, and a pentacle on that one. And is there a little card? Oh, look, there it is. It's falling out. This card says four corners, boundary stones. Ooh. And it says inscribed with a pentacle for protection and imbued with the grounding vibration of earth. Place a stone in each corner of the home for protection. I like that. I like that a lot. I like that a lot, lot, actually. These might just be old pebbles, but they've been around just as long as your quartz crystals, your rose quartz, all of that. These have been around on the planet for just as long. So they're just as worthy. And I, I really do like it when we get things like this. Right then, what else have we got in here? Oh, this must be our free item. This is our free item. It's an enchantment. Sorry, an enchantment. Well, I can't speak. An enchanted key ring. Um, and you can see it is, look at that lovely key with a, a, a fleur de lis or whatever it is on the top. That's really cool. And it says, keys have long been believed to offer protection. So add your keys to this enchanted amulet to keep them safe and to shield you as you open the doors of opportunity. There we go. Look, I think that's really cool. I've got several keys looking about. So that can always be added to the collection. I know, right? I'm going to end up like a medieval prison warder. You know what I mean? Where you've got the keys to the keys to the dungeon and you've got all these giant keys on it and you've got to find the right one. But no, I think that's very cool. I like that a lot. What else have we got in here? Um, oh, so we've got a doorway candle. 100% 100, 100 pure soy wax with rose petals. And it says a natural, calming and protective candle to welcome loving, bright vibrations into your home. It says light by your door to ensure only positive energy can cross. Light this candle and state this incantation. Negativity shall not cross my threshold. Only loving vibrations may pass. This is my command and what I say shall stand. I like that. Never leave a burning candle unattended. Absolutely. There we go. Look at that. That's very cool. Look, it's got the petal. I don't know whether that's going to show up. There you go. Look, it's got the rose petals all through it inside. That is lovely. And there's no scent. So that's really good for my other half. Rufus, he has since COVID, he's had massive problems with his lungs and scents can really set his lungs off. So an unscented candle like that is absolutely that's lovely. That will get absolutely used on a regular basis. So pop that there as well. What else have we got here? A witch ball kit. Ooh, I've got a very large witch ball hanging up in the corner of my room, actually. It says a traditional way to ward off evil spirits and negative energy and protect your home. Add the nettle and rosemary to the ball with intent to protect. You can also include any other charms, amulets, small crystals or from affirmations you desire. These are optional. Hang the ball in your window for protection. I am imagining this is going to be a fairly, oh, yes, it was. I was about to say a fairly small ball. But look, we've got, oh, look at the pouches as well are green. That's amazing. So we've got, I'm assuming, uh, I'm assuming that one must be, oh, neither of them are particularly, did it say lavender? Did it say lavender? What did it say? Oh, nettle and rosemary. There we go. That makes a lot more sense. So, oh, I love that. That's very cool. That's very, very cool. It looks almost like a light bulb, doesn't it? Like that. Um, that's very cool. Look, it almost looks like a potion bottle you can wear. That's very, I like that. I don't think I've seen something like that to hang as a witch ball before. I like that a lot. And the thing about witch balls is that you can always clear out the contents, refresh them every season. That is absolutely going to be hung in my in my front porch with everything else I've got in there. <laughs> God, there's so much uh, in our front porch, so much magic -y stuff hanging up. Um, it's it's a hundred percent like totally protected at this point, but we can always add some some extra protection in. That is very cool. I like that a lot. And that that I like the fact that they give you the kit. And they give you like the basics, but you can add your own essence 
to this. You can absolutely, if you want to keep a lot of negativity out, you might want to put gorse in. Um, if you've been having, you know, a bit of a bad time recently, if you want to bring in more loving energy, again, you could put lavender, you could put rose petals, you could put little bits of rose quartz, things like that in there. Um, if you wanted to bring in, I don't know, more wealth energy, you could use some calendula and things. There's all sorts of bits and pieces you can do with those. So I'll pop that there as well. Uh, threshold salt. Ah, what did I say at the beginning of this? I use salt for all of the threshold uh, cleansing and wards and things. Look at this. This is interesting. It says sprinkle this magical salt blend ac across the threshold of your home to keep negativity at bay. Oh, it does say what's in it at the bottom. It says uh, ingredients, magnesium sulfate, sodium chloride, rosemary, uh, rosemary leaf and more rosemary leaf oil. So, yeah, that looks really interesting. I almost don't want to break the seal on that because it has been it's been sealed with wax. So but again, loving that. Thank you very much, Witch Casket, for that. And then the last thing in here is our magical washcloth. Just checking out. There's nothing else in there. This says set your intentions and use this enchanting washcloth to cleanse your doors and window frames used with salt water or magical herb infused water. Be mindful not to use any blend that may damage the finish on your doors and frames. Let's look at this. This is going to be, oh, look, do you know what? I don't want to use it for that. I want to make this a flannel. I want to use this every day to wash my face with positive intentions and to wash my body. And you know what I mean? To imbibe that sort of energy all across my body. I think that is beautiful. That is really cool. I would not use that to wipe my, as much as I like, you know, threshold magic and I want to keep my house safe. That is something that I would use on me. I think it's so soft, really nice quality sort of flannel, really nice quality embroidery. That is too nice to wash my door with. I'm sorry that 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 will be that will be used to. It, I might even keep it, you know, she says having just talked about doing elaborate rituals but i might keep this to use for ritual cleansing because before i perform a particular especially some of the big ones with the bells and whistles on before i do anything like that i do have a ritual cleanse that i i normally do and i might have to keep this for that i but in fact i think that's what that is going to be for now but again thank you so much witch casket that's such a lovely item to have that's very very cool so then let's put everything else back in the box and make sure we've got everything that we're supposed to have. With these videos, I do quite like to choose a star item, which is my favorite item and a dud. So then my star item is probably going to be, it's a close call this month, is going to be the little pentagram with the bells hanging uh, doorway charm thing. Purely and simply, yes, I know the bell's falling off, but that's very simple fix with a pair of pliers. Not a problem. Um, but I love it. I absolutely love it. I have bells on this door, on my front door, on the porch. I have them hanging <laughs> everywhere. So this is going to be one of that part of my protection bell system, if you like. So I really, really like that. In terms of a dud item, oh, it's really hard to pick one. I'm torn between, in all honesty, I'm torn between the door wash kit and the art print. Um, but I'm going to use both of them. I'm actually going to use both of them. So I don't know. I, I think, I don't think I can pick a dud. I don't think I can pick a dud. I think there'll be several items that I would rank together. And then a few items that are my special items, like the washcloth, and the, the the witchy bells on the pentacle. Those would be my special items. Everything else I think is on a par as being pretty damn good. Do you know what I mean? And so, yeah, I think this is the first month I can safely say that there isn't a dud. Now that's a surprise. Those are all my thoughts. Let me know yours down in the comment section. I'll put the link to Witch Casket and all of the gubbins about how you can get a box down in the description box. This video is not sponsored in any way, shape or form. Um, I just think it's a really, really, really good quality box. Um, but yeah, let me know if you could find a dud because I can't find one in this box. And that has me absolutely stumped. Maybe I should do videos at nearly 11 o'clock at night 
uh, more often because I seem to be a lot more positive about the items. But genuinely, I think the value here is phenomenal. And I'm really, really, really happy with everything in this box. And I don't think I've ever said that about any subscription box ever. This is possibly one of my favorite boxes. And with that, I'm going to say I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget, I do live streams every Tuesday and Sunday evening, 7 p.m. UK time. We've also got a membership. You can come and hang out with us at 6 p.m. UK time on a Sunday evening for our weekly members only live streams, where this week I will be doing something with the manifestation card. I promise. I promise, promise, promise. I'll be doing something with that. But that is it for me. And as I always say, stay you, stay true, stay authentic. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.